Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're going to be covering subject verb agreement. So what exactly is subject verb agreement? Well, basically, in every sentence you have a subject and you have a verb. And in order for your sentence to make sense, your subject and your verb have to sort of match up. They have to agree. And I think the easiest way I can explain that is just by showing you. So here is a sentence that does not have subject verb agreement. She liked coffee. Now, the subject of my sentence is she, and the verb of my sentence is like. But there's something wrong here. Because when you only have one person, you should be saying the word likes with an S. One person likes something. So to make this sentence correct, to give this sentence proper subject verb agreement, we would have to change like to likes. She likes coffee. Let's look at another one. The bugs crawls on the table. Okay, so what is our subject here? Who or what are we talking about? Bugs, right? Bugs is our subject. And what about our verb? What word tells of the bug is or is doing? Crawls, right? Crawls is the verb. But it doesn't make sense to say the bugs crawls because crawls is singular, like one thing crawls, one baby crawls, one soldier crawls. But when you have multiple of something, they don't crawls, they crawl. So you wouldn't say the bugs crawls, you would say the bugs crawl. Okay, one more easy one, and then we're gonna kick it up a notch. She sit on the throne. Subject is she. Verb is sit. But she is one person. And you wouldn't say one person sit on the throne. You would say one person sits on the throne. So she sits. Okay, so not every one of your sentences is going to be that easy. Some of them will be a little trickier. Let's take a look at this. Two bottles of water is empty or two bottles of water are empty. Now, whenever you see an of phrase, of this, of that, that's what we call a prepositional phrase. And prepositional phrases are basically filler. They do not contain the main subject of your sentence. So for me, after years and years of studying this, my brain sort of knows that whenever I see an of phrase, I just sort of forget it. I just kind of pass right over it. So if you do that with this sentence, and you kind of forget about the of water phrase, the sentence actually becomes very easy. Two bottles are empty. So the two bottles of water are empty. Let's do a couple more like that. My collection of poems is about to be published, or my collection of poems are about to be published. Okay, again, we have this prepositional phrase that starts with of. So that should cue us in to the fact that we have some extra fluff in this sentence, some extra filler going on here. And what do we do with that stuff? We ignore it. So if we ignore that part, that of poems part, we have my collection is about to be published. My collection is. Couple more. The men at the bank is very nice, or the men at the bank are very nice. But wait a minute, I don't see an of phrase here. Well, guess what? Not all of these prepositional phrases, these extra filler phrases, begin with the word of. It might be at, it might be in, it might be on, it might be by. There are dozens and dozens of prepositions out there, and I would encourage you to go look some of them up on your own. But regardless, this at the bank phrase is one of those phrases. It is extra. It is filler. Our real sentence here is, the men are very nice. And that's what I should have. The men at the bank are very nice. Last one. The girl by the flowers looks lonely or the girl by the flowers look lonely. This is what I'm saying. Just like last one, we have a filler phrase here, by the flowers. If we ignore that for a minute, we can find our real sentence. And we would see, the girl looks lonely. The girl by the flowers looks lonely. Cool. 
Well, whether you came here for a refresher or are just now learning this stuff for the first time, hope this video helped. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.